Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. This is the 18th episode of the Basic Practice Teaching Series, a series to introduce some basics of the internal style for practice. In today's video, I will introduce the double kicking exercise or 二起脚 Some Tai Chi styles, such as Wu style and the Yang style, do not practice. This movement anymore in their standard routines. However, many Tai Chi practitioners of these styles still practice this movement as a single exercise in order to maintain and improve the martial aspect of Tai Chi. Chen Xiao Tai Chi still has this movement in the first routine. Double kick is the movement that is used to practice. Jumping and kicking. It requires better coordination between different body parts, especially the coordination between the feet and the hands. Also, this movement can be simplified so that you can just kick once without jumping, which is most suitable for seniors or for health maintenance through the practice of Tai Chi. So you can practice this movement in different ways. What I will demonstrate with my student Olivi is the Tai Chi practice, emphasizing martial application. For example, after the double kick and the jump, the body structure still remains solid instead of "quote unquote" softening after landing on the ground. This is the key aspect. Of this movement, in terms of developing martial strength. Again, kicking and jumping are basic skills for any martial artist, no matter whether internal or external style practitioners. That's why I'm introducing this exercise in this video. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. Hello. Today I will work with my students Olivier to demonstrate one of the jumping and kicking movement of、uh, Tai Chi. The name is、uh, 二起脚 or 翻身二起脚 or double kicking. It is a jumping motion but with a、uh, uh, kick as well. In Tai Chi practice, we should focus on the flexibility, including jumping, kicking, and so on. We have so I will introduce some important principle when introducing this movement. Okay, so you can start from here, then do this movement. Yes, then continue. Right, we can just stop at here. Okay, stop at here. See what he did pretty well. So let's start from here. Okay, first of all, at this motion because he's like、uh, when people punch me, right? People attacking me. So it's it's this kind of another kick. It's a striking motion, right? From here, no problem. Here it's pretty good at the center line. Then before you jump, you have step forward. Then see the two move opposing movement two. Yes, so chest open two. After the the kicking. Drunking have the strength the hand, then the back palm over the head, double pushing downward. Yes. So let's repeat again slowly from here. So step, then to create and balance the situation. Then palms move back. Then then kick same time knee first. One. Then the other one is the foot. Right. After here, relax the foot. Then. Have a pushing motion, overhead, three, then four. Yes. Now let's only practice the first one. Let's start from here again. So the most important first part is the body have a have a turning motion, like one. Yes. Then small right later. So we need to create the momentum and unbalance the situation. Yes. At the same time, the palm should. Faster, little bit. The back hand one. Yes, that back hand is good now. Now front hand, not like here. It should like reaching motion. Look at here, huh? So back reaching motion. Very good. 
up to here, then have a push, the exposed hand push motion. Finger, in that finger straight. Then, then when the palm move back up forward, knee move up. Then four, five, yes. Now again, let me correct more. Okay, one, two. Okay, your chest is not turn enough. I'm here, okay? So one, one, then two. Very good. Then three. Then. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all find this video beneficial to your practice. Thanks for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.